I'm going to show you how to make a page in your digital interactive notebook where students can simply type. So this is the most simple version of a digital interactive notebook page that you can create. This is a good starting place. It is good for when you need students to just take notes or be able to just type simple answers like to a question. We're going to be creating this page here, which is what we want it to look like by the end. So the very first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to insert a slide. So I'm going to go to insert new slide and it's going to look like this. Now I like to change the background so that it looks like an actual sheet of paper, but you can change it to anything you want to. The way you do that is you right click on the background, change background, choose image, and the background I like is on the Google image search for A4 paper background. But if you want to use some images you already have saved either in your Google Drive or on your computer, you can use that. So I'm going to click it and then hit insert and then done. Okay, the next thing you'll need to do is I do the title. So I'm going to drag the text box that it already comes with just because I can edit it to be whatever I want it to be. And the title of this page for me is going to be creating a product because my students are going to be creating their own product to then advertise using rhetorical appeals and persuasive language techniques. Now, obviously, I don't like this font, so I'm going to highlight it, go to fonts, and I like Bree Serif. It's cute, but it's easy to read. Then I'm going to increase the font size so that it's bigger. I just use these pluses instead, uh, plus and minus instead of typing in. And then I want it to be centered, so I'm going to come to align and hit center. And just play with the text box a little bit, center it up. Done. Got my title. And now you're ready to create where students are actually going to type their answers. So I'm going to drag this text box bigger. And then we are going to actually put a border on it and then fill it in. Because if I type right now, it's not really easy to read, especially depending on what your background is. So make sure you have the text box highlighted. And then we're going to come to border color. We're going to make it black. And then border weight, I'm going to use 4px, which is 4 pixels. And if you click off of it, now you see we have a border. And then I'm going to need to fill it in so that when I type, they can read it. So you just go to fill color, and you can pick any color that you want. They also have gradients, and um, you can do custom color from this color wheel, or if you have a specific hex number you want to type in, you can do that as well. I'm fine with these colors here, so I'm maybe going to pick like this purple. Something else to keep in mind is these neon colors are like really neon. So like if I pick this, it kind of hurts my eyes. So I try to use the kind of dulled out versions of the colors. So you just play around until you get the color you want. I like this one and I'm good. I'm going to click off of it. Now I also need to change the font and color of my text. So I'm also going to make it Brie Serif and change the color by hitting black. And now if I type, you can see it's a lot easier to read than it was before. So now I'm ready to start actually typing in what I want my students to be able to see on the page. So for instance, if it was questions, I could just type, you know, your question here and then hit enter and then go down as you go. However, you need to remember to leave room for them to type their answer when we insert text boxes later. Um, we're not actually going to do questions. We're going to do almost like a worksheet where they have to fill in information. So it's going to look like this. So I'm going to type the first thing, which is they need to come up with their product, service, or business name. And then I'm going to give them room to type it. 
or room for me to insert the text box later. And then I'm going to have them, I'm going to cheat here, copy and paste from my stuff that I already have typed. Which, this is another thing to point out to you. If you already have a worksheet typed up, you can copy and paste from it and just put it in this new format. You don't have to create it a uh, brand new unless you just need to. Okay, and then I am going to, they're going to have to use three persuasive language techniques. So I'm going to give them th uh, the numbers one through three to remind them that they need to have three. And then the same thing, they're going to have to use three rhetorical appeals in their text. So again, I'm going to give them a place to do that as well. Now, if I wanted this to stand out a little bit more, I could bold it. I can underline it. I could italics it. You can do any of those. Another thing to keep in mind is if you mess up like I have been doing while I'm recording, you can just hit Command Z and it will undo whatever you just did. That's good for if you accidentally delete something or make a mistake, you can fix it really quickly. You also can go up here to edit and do undo or redo. It's also here. You've got those buttons everywhere. So technically, my page is done. It's ready for students to type in. Now, I could leave it like this for students to type in. However, if you want to do um, like I do, which is keep them from being able to edit all of this, you will need to go to File, download it as a, as a PNG, and then make it the background, and then insert text boxes over the top. I have a whole video for that that I will link below that you can use to keep students from messing up your pages. And I will, as I said, link that below for you. So now that my page is technically done, I need to think about is there any other directions or things that I need to give my students. One way you can do that is through the sticky notes. I will also link that video for you below if you are interested in seeing how to do that. And that is how to make the most simple version of a digital interactive notebook page, which is simply just a page for students to type into.